A sculpture of the founder of Pakistan, Muhammad al Jinnan, has been unveiled at the British Museum in London to mark the 70th anniversary of India's partition. The bronze bust has been made by Philip Jackson, who also sculpted the Gandhi figure in Parliament Square and footballer Bobby Moore in front of Wembley Stadium. This report from Shabnam Mahmood contains some flash photography. Adding the final touches to the bronze bust of the man known as the founding father of Pakistan. The project marks the end of six months of work for the sculptor who was inspired by old photographs of Muhammad Ali Jinnah. He was quite a formal man and, and a lot of the photographs show him uh, sort of standing straight on to the camera um, with his arms down by his side. I was desperate to find something that I could sort of use to sort of bring the sort of bring a little bit of sort of humanity to the sculpture. And then I noticed that he used a monocle which I suppose even in those days was reasonably unusual. And so I've got him holding a monocle, and I thought that made it quite an interesting sculpture. Mr. Jinnah is on the Viceroy's left. Jinnah spent his younger years studying law in London before returning to India and joining the campaign for independence against the British. He later demanded an independent homeland for Muslims, creating Pakistan in 1947. Here at the British Museum, the sculpture is unveiled by the Mayor of London in front of a huge crowd of people. Pakistan! Pakistan! It's been funded by the government of Pakistan. This has been conceived by us, this has been funded by the government of Pakistan, and uh, I think this is a, a tribute by the people of Pakistan to their great leader, to the founder of the nation. The statue will now move to its permanent place at Lincoln's Inn in central London, where Muhammad Ali Jinnah qualified as a barrister. For many here, it's a tribute that's long overdue. In general, for all young people and like, he's a leader that we should be looking up to, his principles, his ideas. So I think I'm, I'm really proud today seeing the bust. I think it's amazing, particularly that it, it's been made from using newsreels, because the photographs in those days weren't so good. Finally, a memorial to a man who played a key role in the partition of the Indian subcontinent 70 years ago. Shabnam Mahmood, BBC News. Time now for a look at the weather with Thomas Shaw.